Hello, this is Jared from Commit Quality, and today we're going to go over a new method added to the locator object called all. The all method is used when our locator points to a list of elements, and then what it does is it actually returns an array of locators. So if you find multiple elements, it'll you can use the all method to return the locators in an array. This was added as part of version 1.29 as well. So if you are going to follow along with this, make sure in your playwright um, in your package.json, you've updated Playwright to version 1.29 and you run npm install in your terminal. Awesome. So our example today will be a very simple one. So let me load up the computer database website. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab all of these computer names. We should be able to use tbody, td and the anchor tag here. And what we should see is when we grab it by these, we'll have 10 elements found, which is the 10 computer names. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to loop over them, click into each one individually, click in, and then I'll just go back and I'll keep going over just to show you the concept of using the all method that's now been added. Let's jump into the code. I've already got my go to the ghost computers page, and uh, I want to add a for loop. So here we've got index and what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to show, I'm adding the for loop because I'm going to show you how we would have done this without the all method. And then we'll show you using the all method to show how much neater and tidier and how much better this is. And it's a really cool, it's a really cool feature added by Playwrights. I'm really happy with this. So now for loop, we've got index set to zero and we'll say index less than, um, and we want to here get rid of array dot length. And we're going to say await page dot locator. And I think I said it was tbody td with the anchor tag. Let's just double check that. So we've got the table body, we've got table data, and then the anchor tag, and that should get all of them for us. So that's perfect. Let's go back into here. And on this, we'd have to say dot count, because of course we never had the all method before. And index plus plus, so each iteration, what will happen, we'll do the code inside this. After the first one is clicked in and went back, it'll then it, it index will become one because we're iterating it by one each time, and it'll keep going over selecting the different computer names. So inside the code, we're going to say const element, we can keep that and we'll remove the what we assigned it to. And here we're going to have to use this again. So we'll just copy and paste that there. And of course, we'd have to use the nth method as well to say what value we want. So element will take the first one, then it'll take the second, third, and so on as we're iterating through this loop. All I'm going to say here then is await element dot click. And what I said, we're going to go back. So it's a wait page dot go back, which will just navigate back to the original page, which is computers for us. And tell you what I'm going to actually do. I'm going to add a page dot pause so you can see what's going on in here. Awesome. So this is the old way of doing it. So let's execute this test and tell you what, let's run it in debug mode. And we'll show what, what's happening with this. Okay, so let's step over. It's going to do the click. We pause the page at this point, then it's going to go back. You can see it clicked the first one. Now it's clicked the second. If I click go back, now it's on the third, and it's just going to keep iterating over it. I'm just going to close this test uh, because we've seen the concept works. It's not neat. We're using the nth um, method, which necessarily we don't really want to be using. Inside our for loop, we've had to you know, get the locator and then get the count, and then we've also had to get it again. Let's show you, let's comp this out and show you how we can do this now with the new all method. And instead of using a for loop now, we can actually use the for of statement. And what this does is, let me type it in. What this does is it executes a loop that operates on a sequence of values sourced from an object that is iterable. So essentially what we're saying is we can just loop over this array of locators that we've passed through. So if I just copy this locator again, but of course, instead of using dot count, we can use this new all method. Like I say, if I actually hover over it, it says here, when a locator points to a list of elements, it returns an array of locators, which is why we can use the for of statement. And tell you what, just to make things simpler, I'm going to change that const to element so I can copy this code. So now we don't need to define element inside because we're already going to have the element. I'm going to comment these. 
put that down and that's all the code is now it does the exact same as this for loop but what it's doing is it's giving us the element directly inside here from the array of locators that we have just passed in so i'll do the same i'll rerun the test and we should see the exact same output so let's continue that's the first computer let's step over and what we should see goes back now it's got the second one and that's going over everything. It's a lot neater, a lot easier, and I really, really like um, this new method added. Let me close that down because that's all worked perfectly. That's how easy it is to use this new all method, how useful it can be. I've actually done this kind of uh, for statement using, you know, the um, locator.count and then grabbing the elements inside that, inside a for loop plenty of times. So I'm really happy to know now I can refactor the code into this and make it just a lot more cleaner and simpler. As always, if you do have any questions, please drop a comment below. If you found this useful, a like and subscribe is appreciated. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.